Well, it's time for some electric guitar. And I've set up a channel here. I'll walk you through what I did. I added a track called Electric Guitar Lead. You see my voice coming through there now because I'm using the same input. I added a plugin up here called Eleven Free. Eleven is the guitar amp simulator, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Then I added some reverb using our system by adding a send on bus one and two, adding an aux that contains the reverb over here, and then having it receive on bus one and two, and adding the reverb itself up here. So the reverb I used is a very simple one. The second one down in the list, air reverb, I'm using a send level of about this much. If I put in too much, it gets too much reverb, so somewhere in there is good. And this allows me to remind you that up here we can actually see a little replication of the send level. That's new to Pro Tools 11. So if I switch my inputs and I turn this amplifier on, you're hearing my voice now through this amplifier, and I'll turn my mic off, turn my guitar on, and see what we have. And it's time to play a little part using this sound. And I will view my transport. I'll turn on my count off and I will switch from mic to guitar. Let's just close this little plugin right now so you can just see the waveform show up. Let's move this fellow down here. You can cover up the click and the reverb. Nothing to see there really. And let's try and play this part. I forgot to reactivate the amplifier. It's going to make a big difference. Let's turn that on, turn my mic off, and play guitar again. Let's turn this amp off, and I will take my guitar off, turn this input off, and we'll start working on this guitar part. Okay, I think I'm back with you now. And one of the cool things about Eleven is it's a real-time plugin. We didn't apply this amplifier setting to this guitar. In fact, if we play it now, let's see about the volume on that. It seems okay. <laughs> Because I deactivated the amplifier, it's not actually going through this plugin right now. So let's turn it back on. And the beauty of it is we can change from this sound to a cleaner sound. Now, just like other plugins we've seen, we have a list that looks like this with folders and things inside of folders. And we also have this kind of spreadsheet way of looking at things. There are your cleans, there are your crunches, and so forth. And just like we can increment in other settings, we might just want to increment every one second and listen to this part like this.
Now, one second is probably a little too much. Let's do like four seconds and see what it sounds like. For me, it's a toss up between bluesy and free world, but we'll take this off, choose bluesy, the one we had, Let's say done. And it's a way for you to audition parts in context, right? How do you know which amp you like until you actually hear the part through it? That's much easier to decide. So we can change settings in here, the gain, the master volume is a little loud maybe. And this plugin is called 11 free. Now there's 11 paid, they don't call it paid, but there's a paid version of 11 that gives you lots more choices here when you pull up the patches. Once again, I got there by plugin and harmonic. Now, why is this in harmonic and not in some of these other ones? Well, that's where they put it, there it is. There's also a talk box, which is kind of cool, right above it, and a fuzz wall. Let's change the plugin from 11 to this fuzz wah. Okay, it's not quite enough fuzz and not quite enough wah. So how about this one? Okay, that's probably too low for the low wah. Let's turn some fuzz on. So lots of options there for guitar parts that you've already tracked. Track it with one sound to inspire your performance. And then if you decide that's not quite the right sound when you're mixing, easy to change.